All right, guys, we're going to do number 17 here. So we take our man, and the man is what we care about, not the actual elevator. So the man is standing on a scale on the floor. So if we look at what forces are on our man, we have the force of gravity going down. Make sure you label it. Normal force going up because he's on a surface. Anytime you're on a surface, you have a normal force. And we also have acceleration pointing up of 3 meters per second squared. So that is our free body diagram. Make sure you draw your accelerations not touching the object, otherwise that would be a force, and this is not a force. So we need to draw our x and y net force equations. Now our x direction is very easy because there's no forces in the x direction, so let's just ignore that. Let's skip straight to the y direction. In the y direction, we have our F net equals MA, because F net always equals MA, and that equals summing up all of our forces. So your normal force and your force of gravity are our two forces in the vertical direction, but we need the proper signs. So our acceleration is pointing up, that means up is positive and down is negative. So that gives us a positive normal force minus our force of gravity is our net force. So, uh, what we know here, we know A, we know M, we know um, we can find the force of gravity. So, we're looking for force of gravity and normal force. Well, force of gravity, we know, is always Mg. So here we know the mass is 50 kilograms. G is always 9.8 meters per second squared. Make sure it's positive in this unit. And that's going to make our force of gravity equal to 490 newtons. And that's one answer. So now we can use that back up in the, uh, there's an arrow, huh. up in that part of the, that wasn't what I meant to do. Hang on. Alright, got rid of that arrow. Uh, so I was saying, you, need, you can use this force of gravity here over here. All right. So to do that we will now say MA equals FN minus our force of gravity is 490 newtons. Uh, we're looking for FN so FN will equal uh, MA minus 490 plug in everything FN will be 50 kilograms times our acceleration running out of room here, minus 490. So Fn ultimately equals uh, 640 newtons. That is our second answer. So key things to remember on... Okay, some things to remember on elevator problems as well as other problems. Uh, your force of gravity is the same as your weight. This applies not just to elevator problems, that is also equal to mg. So anytime I say uh, you, need, you have someone's weight, which is measured in newtons, not kilograms, kilograms is mass, anytime I say your weight, that is the force of gravity. The normal force is always going to be what the scale reads. So if I give you a scale reading, or if I, have you, if I ask you what the scale reads, that is always going to be the normal force. So let's try, let's try number 37. We have a tractor accelerating a log. Uh, well, we don't really care what's accelerating the log, but we know it's a tractor. So let's draw our, our log here. Okay. And let's draw the forces we have on our log. We have uh, a force applied. That's what the tractor is doing. We have the normal force, since we are on a surface, presumably the ground. Force of gravity, because we're on the earth. And there is a frictional force holding back our motion. And we are accelerating, let's say, to the right. That's the direction we're pulling it, so we're probably accelerating that way. All right, so the first thing we need to do, uh, we don't know what the acceleration is. But we do know enough that we can figure it out. So let's figure it out, because that would be really helpful. So to find our acceleration, we know the V initial is zero, 
we know V final is 15 meters per second. Our time is 30 seconds. And we're looking for acceleration. So here we're going to use the Amigos. We still need to use those. We always use those. So don't forget them. So let's use uh, the acceleration Amigo. It's a variation on Votat. Acceleration equals V final minus V initial over time. So V final is 15 minus V initial is 0 over time, which was 30 seconds. So we're going to get acceleration equals 0.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so we're not asked for that, but we are going to need that. Now to find the net force, we are asked, uh, well, we're told the mass. We now have the acceleration. So in the x direction, our F net is going to equal MA, which is going to be uh, 900 kilograms times 0.5 meters per second squared, so we'll have 450 newtons for our x direction net force. That's one of the things we're trying to find. That's part A. Part A. Okay, so let's try part B. Let's get you a new slide. Part B. Part B we're trying to find if the coefficient of friction is 0.4, what's the force of friction? Well, in order to do that, we need to find the normal force. So to find the normal force in the y direction, we're going to set up our net force equation. So we're going to say ma, which is always our net force, equals fn minus fg. That's assuming that up is positive and down is negative, because it doesn't really matter since there is no acceleration. So uh, since there is no acceleration, all this becomes 0. So that's 0 equals fn minus fg, which means fn equals fg. That's great, but we do need to know what fn is. So we know fg equals mg, so we can plug that in. mg is going to be 900 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, which will give us uh, a normal force of 8820 Newtons. So that's the normal force, which we are not looking for, but we do need because we're trying to find the frictional force. So the force of friction is mu Fn, which we're told mu, mu is 0.4 according to the problem, that's a given. Our normal force we just found is 8820 Newtons. So if we multiply those together, we will get a frictional force of 3528 newtons. That is part B. Okay, part C. What is the force of the tractor? So that we're going to have to do an x direction net force equation. So because we said that to the right is positive, the left is negative because of the way we drew our acceleration. We're going to say Fa, which was the force of the tractor, minus your force of friction equals Ma, equals your net force, which we actually already figured out. Uh, so if we rearrange that for Fa, we'll have Fa equals Ma plus force of friction. Now we already figured out the net force. That was in part A. So we can just say this is 450 newtons plus the frictional force, which we figured out to be 3528 newtons. So our applied force, the force of the tractor, is going to be equal to 37, oops, 3978 newtons. And that is that.